From the short list, candidates can be advanced to the interviewing stage by clicking on the Advance Candidate to Interview stage icon. OK. Click on the Interviewing tab. If candidates have been advanced from the short list they will already be listed as candidates for interviewing. More candidates for interview can be selected by clicking on the Add Candidates icon. The candidates are listed in order of their current ranking and then by their combined questionnaire score. Select the applicants for interview. Click on Add Selected Candidates, OK. Click on Exit. As defined by the recruiter, advancing applicants to the interview phase can trigger additional requirements that require the candidate to provide further information, for example, to complete more questionnaires or upload documents. In this example, the status dot is colored orange indicating that a requirement has been triggered, and is currently unresolved. To confirm what event has been triggered, click on the radar icon. Outstanding tasks are listed at the top of the overview report. In this case, the requirements have been defined to request that candidates, reaching the interview stage, upload their right-to-work documentation. An email icon has also appeared allowing the recruiter to prompt the candidate to provide the requested information. Click on the email icon, OK. The status dot's color will be changed to dark amber, to indicate that the information has been requested. We will notify the remaining candidates. Each candidate will receive an email notifying them that they have a task to complete. Clicking on the email link will allow the candidate to log into their account, and they will see the outstanding task highlighted. In this case an attachment request. They click on Attachments. Then the Upload icon. Browse. Double click on the document. The status of the candidate's request will be changed to green. When the tasks have been completed the recruiter screen status dot will also be updated to green the next time the display is refreshed or by clicking on the reload icon. The rankings of each candidate can be set by clicking on the set rankings icon. Save. OK. If rankings are set, candidates will be sorted by their advanced progress, current rankings, and combined questionnaire score. If a candidate fails to complete the requested tasks, a reminder can be sent by clicking on the reminder email icon. OK. The status dot's color will be changed to purple. Candidates can be removed from the interview list by clicking on the Remove Application icon. Removed candidates are moved to the application's X interviewing group. If after notifying the candidate, a task status is outstanding, a second remove option is available. Clicking this icon will remove the candidate from the interview list and notify the candidate, by email, that their application has been suspended because they have not completed the outstanding task. An instant messaging chat facility is available that allows the recruiter and applicant to chat with one another. All chat messages are also emailed. Chats are logged and form part of the recruitment's audit. The chat facility is accessible to applicants only after they have been invited for an interview, or on receiving a chat, initiated by the recruiter. If the recruiter is authorized to do so, they can initiate a chat, by clicking on the chat icon. Enter the message. And click send to notify the candidate. The candidate will receive an email.
When they next log into their account the chat facility will be available, allowing them to reply. The recruiter can acknowledge the reply. Closing a chat conversation will stop the chat from being marked as active.